Max Zeller and today I want to tell you really quick a cautionary tale about hacking your biology or biohacking. So I was reading this fascinating story about this woman, 67 years old in Britain, who was going in for cataract surgery. Now, as you can imagine, getting this age 67, you're going to experience some changes in your body, things getting older, things not working as they used to. And so the pain she felt in her right eye, she thought it was from that. However, when the doctors were prepping her for surgery, uh, they ended up finding a little surprise. They dug in, and if you're a little squeamish, just block this next 10 seconds out. Uh, but when they were looking in her eye, what they ended up finding was a congealed mass of 17 contact lenses. And then they went on and they found 10 more elsewhere in her eye. 27 contact lenses in her eye. And this is one big issue that I find with biohacking. It's that technology, like contact lenses, they're amazing. I have contact lenses in right now. They help me see better, it's easy, I don't have to worry about glasses falling off or anything like that. But if you rely on it too much, it alienates you from your natural physiology and your body as a whole. So really, when it comes down to it and you're trying to, to feel better, to feel more energized, to lose fat, and just be more vital, you don't need to go crazy with the technology and biohacking. Really, it's as simple as getting more sleep, eating more vegetables, and going for a walk. So if you're trying to boost your, your focus, take your fat loss to the next level, or even just start, try to sleep for about eight hours. According to Harvard research, eight hours was the amount of time that helped their subjects be able to make better food choices and to lose fat, have more mental alertness. Uh, walking 20 minutes is seen in several meta-analyses to be a cornerstone habit for patients who lose 30 to 60 pounds of fat and keep it off for up to 12 months. And then every diet says how good vegetables are, uh, whether they're raw or cooked. Uh, I like to do both because when they're raw, they're tougher to digest. When they're cooked, they have a little bit less nutrition. Uh, and so find a balance there based on what tastes good to you. So those are three really simple biohacks uh, to get back to nature and to easily, cost-effectively skyrocket your energy and your fat loss and your vitality. So if you enjoy that, definitely check out my um, my busy professionals uh, fitness bundle down below. Uh, it's an infographic you can grab for free and it has more fantastic habits and information for you to really take your health into your own hands. All right, peace.